The Canadian Rockies are known for their turquoise lakes, but did you know that that color is starting to fade and that the creatures that live in those lakes are changing too? Okay, before I get ahead of myself, first, what makes those lakes so colorful to start with? Well, over thousands of years, glaciers grind rocks in their path down to a fine powder. It's known as rock flour. Then as the glaciers melt, that powder is released into glacier-fed streams and rivers, eventually ending up in Rocky Mountain lakes. So that rock flour, it floats in the water and it reflects light. And that is what makes the lake so distinctive. So we've already seen this happen. So you wanna think of Curator Lake and Geraldine Lake in Jasper National Park. So why is it changing? As you may have guessed, yeah, it's related to climate change. As our glaciers retreat or even disappear, less rock flour is being produced. And with less rock flour making its way into lakes... The lake starts to become clearer so that the sunlight starts to penetrate deeper into the lake, which then fuels algal growth. And at the same time, once you've got the meltwater, which is pretty cold, by the way, um, like if anyone's experienced hiking up in the, in the Alpine in the Rockies, um, the lakes then start to also start getting warmer. So warmer, more well-lit conditions, you increase the productivity of the ecosystem. And that's good news for several types of fish that thrive in colder water. More food equals more fish. BC has already opened several new fisheries due to glacier retreat, but it's also going to impact several unique species that thrive in our largely fish-less alpine lakes. There's also serious concern about this change happening too quickly. It depends really the degree to which it happens. If it happens very rapidly, the ecosystem might not actually readily adjust. So we'll have to wait and see how quickly these changes happen and how the effects will, well, trickle downstream. But even as the color changes, experts do agree on one thing. The lakes will still be beautiful and will remain an important part of our Rocky Mountain ecosystem.